So now I want to create a program that's going to calculate the power of a number. And you should have learned about powers and exponents uh, in sixth grade. And some of you might still be in sixth grade. So uh, let me go over what a power is. Okay. So when we say, hmm, let's see, maybe I can show you over here. 5 to the power of 3. Okay, so when we say 5 to the power of 3, what we, the way that we write it is we, we write it like this. Okay, and so uh, the 5 is what we call the base, and the 3 is what we call the exponent. And when we say 5 to the power of 3, what we're saying is 5 times 5 times 5. So 5 times itself 3 times. So the base times itself exponent number of times. Okay. Um, so when we're over here and we want to figure that out, well, if I had maybe 4 to the power, we also use this uh, caret to signify power. So if we say 4 to the power of 2, what we're saying is 4 times 4. Okay. If we say 2 to the power of 5, what we're saying is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so five times. And how can we get this done? Well, I want to do this using a function definition. So I want to make a function definition called power. And in my function definition, do I need to take in any information? Of course I do. I need to take in the base, and I need to take in the exponent. So right here, I'm going to take in base. I'm going to call my next one exponent. And what do I want to do? Well, I want to multiply the base by itself exponent number of times. Okay. Um, the way that we can get this done is we can do use a for loop. Okay. And so if I say for i in range and I do it exponent number of times, what I can do is I can create a counting variable. So I can say count is equal to not 0, but 1. And inside of the for loop, I can say count is equal to count times base. All right. And why do I not want to start count off at 0? Because let's say our base is 4 and our exponent is 2. Well, then when it comes in here, the for loop is going to iterate exponent number of times, which is 2 times. Right. And the first time it comes in, it's going to do the right side of the equal sign. So it's going to do 0 times 4. And what is 0 times 4? It's 0. So count's going to be equal to 0. And then it iterates again. And it's going to do 0 times 4. And that's equal to 0. So count's equal to 0. So when it breaks out of the for loop and it goes to return count, it's going to return 0. Right? So we don't want that. So we want to start count off as 1 because we are counting. You know, We do have count on both sides of the equal sign. But we are multiplying. And if you start out the multiplication at using a 0, then your product is going to end up being 0. So if you're counting using multiplication, like we're doing here, you want to start out your counting variable equal to 1. All right. So let's try this again. Let's assume our base is 4 and our exponent is 2. It's going to come in here. This for loop is going to iterate 2 times, exponent number of times. So the first time through, it's going to say 1 times 4. That's equal to 4. Let me put some notes down here. Equal to 4. So it counts equal to 4. It iterates again, and it does 4 times 4, and counts equal to 16. Then it goes and returns count, which is returns 16, and we have our correct answer. Right. Let's try it again with 2 to the 5. So our base is going to be 2. Our power is going to be 5. We come in, our exponent is going to be 5. So this for loop is going to iterate 5 times. And the first time in the for loop, it's going to do 1 times base, which is 2. So it's going to be 1 times 2 is equal to 2. So it counts equal to 2. It iterates again and it does 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. And the next time through, it's going to do 4 times 2. 
4 times 2, which is equal to 8. And then the next time through, it's going to do 8 times 2. So here, let's see. 8 times 2, which is equal to 16. And then the next time through the for loop, it's going to do 16 times 2. 16 times 2, which is equal to 32. And then it breaks out of the for loop, because that is 5 times that the for loop iterated. And it's going to return count. And count is going to contain 32, which is the correct answer. Right? It's 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. So, well, 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32. So let's go ahead and uh, now that we know how this works, let's go ahead and uh, see if it actually does work. So exponent, exponent, okay. So we have our function definition and now let us use it. So I'm gonna have my main function definition, of course, always have main. And in my main function definition, I'm going to print out power of two to the five. Down at the bottom, I'm going to run main have two blank lines around my function definitions. And now let's try to run it. 32, got the right answer. Right? And let's do 4 to the 2. That should print out 16. It does. Right? And of course, we could print this out in a more easily read format. We could also take an input from the user as to the, um, as to the base and the exponent that we're going to use. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and let you do that in a challenge exercise.